Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is the Bathing Garden Circus Collection Haul. Now, I got a lot of goodies from this order, and I talked about before, the Bathing Garden has such beautiful wax. And I used to order from the Bathing Garden years ago, and then I just got back into Shannon's Wax. Shannon is the owner um, through her Valentine's Day collection. Now, I hear that Bathing Garden needs a long time to cure. So what I did after I filmed that video, I put the box away, and next Valentine's Day, I will begin to melt it and give you guys my review. So I have not melted anything from the Bathing Garden from, from the Valentine's Day collection, and I also had some samples. I also did not melt the samples yet, but I do plan on that because I have seen videos here on YouTube that say when they melt the samples, they actually get really good throw from them. So I'm super excited because some of these in here I got as samples from the Valentine's Day collection, which this is the circus collection. There's so many good things in here. I ordered 13 of her jumbo clams right here, and then I ordered a bunch of her regular clams, which are right here, so you can see the difference too in size. So what I would do is put one cube in each warmer here. I would cut these in half and put half a cube in each warmer there. So basically you get two, almost three and a half, you know, so you get a lot of clams in worth in the jumbos. And I ordered some body care. So, without further ado, I do just want to touch on the body care because I only have three items in here. I ordered two of her scrubs, and her scrubs are beautiful. They're decorated. They're amazing. I'm still working on my sample scrub from the last order, but I knew I needed to get circus bread, which it's this strawberry breading note. We'll talk about it more in the wax, because I definitely ordered it in the wax too. But I ordered two scrubs in that, and I also ordered a scrub in fizzing lavender soda. I thought that scent would be really, really great for this time of year, for the spring. Um, it's like a bubbly, effervescent lavender. I also ordered that in the clam. So as far as body care goes, these are the items I got from body care. Now let's move on to all the wax. As always, um, Shannon gives so many samples. I have two bags of samples, and then I also got two free clams. So we'll start with this bag of samples. And I did receive two um, scrub samples. I actually received a sugar scrub sample in Root Beer Float and a scrub and soap parfait in the contortionist, which I'm really excited to try. So let's give this guy a smell. This is the contortionist, this is a body scrub. It just smells very clean. Like very, like soapy almost. That's all I'm really getting from it, but it looks like the top pink part is soap, and then the bottom part is a scrub. So I'm excited, this will probably be like one use one luxurious use in the shower. So, really excited to try that one. And then I have Root Beer Float, and this is in a sugar scrub. Oh my gosh, this smells just like Root Beer Float. Like effervescent root beer with vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh, that's awesome in the scrub. See, I feel like I always get these scrub samples and I never even dive into my full sizes because they just last such a long time. I also don't really scrub that often, but really excited for that. Now, I do not have any notes for the samples, so we're just gonna go in blind. The first one, look at the size of this egg. Now, it is pretty flat, but look at the size of this egg. It is huge. And this is in Blackberry Winter. And can we just say, obviously, obsessed with the packaging. Everything came beautifully wrapped, but she does not include scent notes on her um, clams, and I talked about before, I add the scent notes on, so I spent time doing that yesterday, and then today sit down to film, but sometimes you really can't find the scent notes for the samples, they're either previous fragrances or future releases, which I believe her future releases in end of March, beginning of April, don't quote me on that, but it is going to be Easter and Spring. So there's some Easter Spring samples in here. Now this is an Easter egg, but the fragrance is Blackberry Winter. And I love her craft labels, this like uh, matte brown label with the font. It's like medieval font, and then there's always a little photo. It's like a little clip art. Now Blackberry Winter. 
Ooh, it definitely smells like blackberry. And maybe because my nose is thinking it, like sparkling snow. It's really, really pretty. So I'm really excited for that. I'll probably cut this into fours. I'm not really sure because it's pretty flat. Now this guy did come broken, but it is supposed to be, it's like a three piece breakaway bar. And this is in Birds of Paradise. This is nice. This smells like a creamy, fruity strawberry. Like, almost like strawberry yogurt. I eat the Chobani Greek strawberry yogurts, and that's exactly what this smells like. Really yummy. I like that one a lot. Next, we have Neroli Orange Blossom, and this is, like, in her pretty... She does this, like, wreath shape a lot, which is perfect just to pop the whole thing in, like, a big dish. Whew. I had an orange blossom scent from another vendor, and it smells just like it. It smells like the frozen bath bomb from Lush. That really bright white floral. It's really pretty. So excited for that for the spring. And then the last one in this bag is Mandarin Blossom. And it's this really pretty peach color. This also smells like a Lush scent. It smells like big shampoo from Lush. If you're familiar with Big Shampoo, I would never use it in my hair now. It's a very clarifying shampoo. It would literally strip the purple right out. It's like this really chunky, sea salty shampoo that had like a lot of citrus fruits in it. It smells just like Big Shampoo. Literally just like Big Shampoo. So that was the one bag, and it looks like this bag was more like little, like bigger shapes, almost like little extra freebies. Whereas in the next, one, which this came in this nice, oh my god, I about to say gorgonzola. That's cheese in that um, garganza bag. Now we have in a plastic bag a bunch of little samples. These videos always take so long because there's so much. The first one, oh, serendipity cream pie. You know how much I love serendipity, which is funny because I don't love cherry fragrances, but it's like cherry creamy coconut. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. And look at the little egg shape. Oh my gosh, is this yummy. Yeah, it definitely smells just like serendipity, like that creamy, cherry, coconutty, yummy scent. Love that. Next, we have lemongrass sorbet, and it is this little, like, um, ice cream scoop shape. Mmm. Definitely smells like lemongrass. I'm not the hugest fan of lemongrass. I honestly will probably pop this in my kitchen area in a tea light warmer when I make food, which is a rare occasion. Um, and I just don't like the way that it smells to like clear the air because that's like kind of what I use the Scentsy Coconut Lemongrass for. This one is a Victorian Carousel and it's like this little star shape. Hmm. This kind of smells like grapey. I'm not the biggest fan of grape and wax, but yeah, it kind of smells like grapey. Mm, I'm not a fan. Next, we have Moonlight Bunny, and it's that little bunny shape. I see a lot of vendors have this shape. This definitely smells like a... This kind of also smells like grape. Maybe it's just like because I think it's purple and I smell the last one. Grape with, like, a light floral. Yeah, I'm not 100% on what this is, but not a fan, really. I don't like grapey scents. This one is Golden Vanilla, and it is a little egg. Mmm. That's nice. It's a very rich, creamy vanilla. Almost like there's some sandalwood in there, too, from what I can smell. Yeah, almost like a sandalwood. I like that a lot. It's really pretty. Next we have Sleepy, and this is an actual egg. Like, it's like a little 3D egg. Super fun. This is just pink sugar and lavender. Here's like a little egg shape. Yeah, that smells like pink sugar. Like a pink sugar. Mm. If, if I said lavender, scratch that. It's peppermint. It's like pink sugar peppermint. Mm. 
That is delightful. Next is strawberry flush. I'm not sure what the flush part is, but I do love strawberry. Hmm. Wouldn't be a video of mine without a truck in the background and a motorcycle. I'm not getting much from this. This is pretty light. Yeah, I'm not really getting much from it even in the bag. Mm -mm. There's no four dates or anything, so this might be fresh. Next we have Spring Tide Mint. It's a little Easter egg. Oh, this is a very creamy mint. A very creamy peppermint and spearmint. Definitely spearmint. I love spearmint. Yeah, it's like a pepperminty, creamy spearmint. Next, we have another little egg. Now, this has my name written all over. This is blackberry fudge. Love, like, I love that vanilla butter fudge oil. This is nice. Definitely reminds me of vanilla butter fudge, for sure. So if you like that, I feel like you'll like this. With, like, a hint of extra fruitiness. But, like, warm fruity from the blackberry. That's yummy. Next, we have carrot cake. And it's in, like, this little um, whole hollow wreath. And this definitely screams Easter carrot cake. Oh, that's yummy. And the detail on this, it's like a little bunt. And there's literally glaze on it. It's insane. Even her attention to detail on the samples. This definitely smells more like a uh, spice cake with a heavy cream cheese frosting. Which, I'm not complaining, I love cream cheese frosting. So that's a really yummy one. Excited to try that one out. This one is Fortune's Darling. And it's like a little mini bunt cake. This has neroli in it. I smell that like frozen fragrance again. That's all I'm really getting. But it's a lot lighter, so there's more, there's definitely more in it. But I'm not 100% off the top of my head. It definitely gives me like neroli vibes. Next, oh, look at this. It's an actual little bunny. It looks like a little chocolate bunny. And this is in Wild Peach Poppy. She just have so many molds. It's crazy. Well, this is nice. This reminds me of a Bath & Body Works peach body care. Not necessarily like pretty as a peach that's out now. Or peach Prosecco macaron. Yeah, it's like a like a light peach body care. Yum! Oh, I love all these samples. Two more. This one is Irish Coconut Coffee. And it's like this nice big four-leaf clover. I love coffee. You guys, this smells like that scent. It's like a... It's like coffee. Well, it is coffee and coconut. There's a scent from the pharmacist's daughter. Um, it's like a coffee coconut. I'm not exactly sure what it is off the top of my head. I love that scent. But if I can get it from the bathing garden... Ugh. Irish coconut coffee. It's not super coffee. It's definitely more coconut, but you can detect the coffee in the end. Really yummy. And then the last is a little gummy bear, and it is in Razzleberry Beer. beer. Razzleberry Bear. So I assume it's like a gummy bear, raspberry. And this is literally 3D, you guys. Like, look. It literally is 3D. It does. It sounds like a candied raspberry. Like a candied raspberry. All right, as I said, I got 13 of her jumbo clams, and her jumbo clams retail for $12.95. Now, we're just gonna get this out of the way because all five of these are beloved circus bread. Do I blame Just Jenny for this? Because I know she loves this, and I got it in a sample, and I see why. Also, let's talk about how beautiful it is. Can we talk about all these sprinkles that are, like, at the bottom? 
smells of yeasty fruitcake blended with fresh strawberry and vanilla. I cannot pick it up because there's literally sprinkles everywhere, but I'll pop one cube out because she literally decorates every single cube. There is no scent like this. There's a couple vendors who have scents close to it, but lately I have been addicted to yeasty, bready fragrance notes in wax. And this, this is it. When you melt a yeasty scent, it's like putting it in the oven. It comes alive. And I think now that I have these five jumbo clams, and I think I have, is this the third one? Yep. I have three regular clams too. I did not want to be without it. This scent, it just comes alive. I'm definitely going to use my sample probably tonight next to my bed to really see how incredible that scent is because I'm obsessed. Please get your hands on some circus bread if you can. All right, let's continue on. We have Carnival Junkie, and I think if I hold them right here, you can really get a good idea. Do you see the detail? It's like this teal blue pink and white, and there's little ice cream cone embeds. And this says, smells of blue raspberry snow cone, raspberry lemonade, and strawberry cotton candy. <sighs> yes, it's light. I smell the blue raspberry, like a blue raspberry lemonade. That's super yummy. Oh, that's gonna be great for the summertime next year. Next, now I know you're probably like, Drew, you just said you don't like grape, and you got it in a jumbo. Every other note in it sounds great. So this is Great Grape Waffle Cone. And again, beautiful. Smells of purple grapes blended with vanilla ice cream and crunchy waffle cones. It definitely has that, like, cough syrupy grape scent, but that's expected. That's what a lot of grape scents smell like. But, I smell the waffle cone too. Yeah, I almost wonder whenever you melt it if more of the waffle cone bakery comes out. But, it's my least favorite out of all of them so far on cold. But, I mean, I expected that. If you love grape scents, you'll probably love it. Um, I just wanted to give it a shot. This one is Poppet's Coaster Ride. And there's literally little holographic stars in every single cube. Smells of strawberry peach jam, tart lemon curd, and raspberry cake bites. I'll have to pop one out. This is yummy. I smell raspberry and peach. It reminds me of that date night scent from Sassy Girl Aroma that I absolutely love. But like with added cake. Mmm. If you like strawberry and peachy scents, the strawberry and peach come across as jam-like in this scent. Very, like, jammy, rich, syrupy strawberry and peach with a little bit of cake. That is yummy. I did order one from the St. Patrick's Day collection. So next year on St. Patrick's Day, and this will literally be, like, a year cured because I got it on St. Patrick's Day, um, this will be perfect, and I will melt this on St. Patrick's Day. Smells of fresh cut grass blended with hay, sweet apple, pear, and clover. I'm not the biggest fan of fresh cut grass, but mixed with apple and pear, I'm like, I'm going to give it a try. And I love this. This is a bright grass. This is like, this is clean grass, if that makes any sense. I know like grass grows in the ground and it's dirt, but this is a very clean, fresh grass. It kind of reminds me of Yankee Candles Fresh Cut Grass set, which I also actually really like. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a very bright, clean, grassy scent. So excited to have that for next year. We have Fried Candy Donut over here. And this is Smells of Berry Donuts Rolled in Fluffy Pink Candy. Yum. It has that same yeastiness in the circus bread with berries, though. It doesn't say what kind of berries. It just says berry donuts. But, like, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, maybe a little bit of strawberry. 
Oh, that's yummy. It's a very, if you like berry donut scents, like jelly filled donuts, wild berry jam donut, any of those type of scents, you'll love that fried candy donut. This one is Vintage Circus. Now this is like pink on the bottom and blue on the top. Super fun. Smells of blue cotton candy layered over crisp candy apples. This is yummy. Blue cotton candy, crisp candy apple. This is yummy. The blue cotton candy comes out. This is probably my favorite cotton candy scent I've ever smelled. Because cotton candy to me just smells like sugary. It doesn't really uh, lean towards anything to me, but like sugary. This smells like actual cotton candy. Like the blue cotton candy. Yeah, that is delish. Vintage Circus. And I do believe I have a sample of that, so maybe I'll try that out this week. Next, we have Sugared Vanilla Waffle Cone. Seems a little bit plain, but I just had to have it because it was so cute online. Smells of cookie wafers blended with vanilla ice cream and white vanilla bean marshmallow. And there's all these sprinkles at the bottom here, so like I'm going to open it just like that. Yeah, it definitely smells like vanilla, like, waffle cones. Uh, I'm just going to try to pop out. Yeah, it smells like a vanilla waffle cone. Like, like a rich, deep, you, wa you walked into Brewster's to order your ice cream, which is an ice cream store. I think they're everywhere, right? They're a chain. And, like, at the window, you smell them making the waffle cones. I have to close this one up, though, because it's really messy. I noticed this this round, there's a lot more, like, shabing. Like, extra shabing, extra shabam, extra, like, goodies at the bottom of all the stuff. And I'm literally, I told myself I would wear a blanket over myself when I did this review, but I did not. <laughs> this last jumbo clam is salted caramel popcorn. Smells of sea salted popcorn smothered in buttery caramel, perfectly sweet and salty. Yeah, everywhere. It smells just like popcorn. Just like caramel popcorn. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm. Love it though. Yeah, there's so much, like, so much sprinkles and stuff. It's actually kind of hard to close the clam. I think I'm actually going to dump that out into the box <laughs> because it was like not shutting at the bottom of the clam. All right, so that was all of my jumbo clams. I'm gonna go and put those away and move on to my regular clams. All right, the first one up is candied kettle pop. And this one says salty sweet kettle popcorn blends with cotton candy and sugar dusted buttercream frosting. And if you look, just like a yellow clam with some glitz on there. This smells like something. Just trying to pop it out of the clam down here. This smells like, it smells like a Bath and Body Works candle. Hmm. It definitely smells like popcorn. That like sweet kettle corn that they had last year. That's what it smells like. Mm -hmm. Like not super, super buttery popcorn, but you can tell it's popcorn. That's a good one. This one is super fun. So it's yellow on the bottom, red, and then blue. And this is called Clowning Around. Salty and sweet popcorn. A lot of popcorn notes. Um, seven layer cake with blue cotton candy and toffee dipped apples. This is nice. This definitely reminds me of like a candy apple. This is so pretty. Like so pretty. Yeah, it reminds me of like a candied apple scent. I like this a lot though. Mm, like a candied apple. Oh, that's so yummy. With with toffee though, you definitely can smell the toffee in that one. Like candied apple with toffee. Now, my two free clams, every $100 you spend, you do get a free clam, and this one is in mimosa and cardamom. I don't have a description, but it smells just like the Joe Malone mimosa and cardamom perfume, which I love that perfume. It's just like a very complex, creamy, because mimosa is the mimosa flower and cardamom being the spice are both more like warm 
I love this. So I hope that's in the spring collection because I definitely want to pick up a few clams in that. And then the other one is Sunshine and Rainbows. This one... Hmm. There's something in there that my nose is not in loving. I'm not sure what Sunshine and Rainbows is. It, I kind of want to say it's Gardenia. Because now that I'm like smelling it more, I can kind of feel like it's Gardenia. And that's one floral that I'm not super into. So we'll see on that one. Then we have Blueberry Lemon Funnel Cake, and this says Golden Funnel Cake Blended with Fresh Blueberries, Tart Lemon, and Sweet Vanilla Powdered Sugar. Now these ones are so... I don't even need to flip it over. It smells like funnel cakes, like when you go to a carnival and all the funnel cake is like squirted in the, in the oil, and then it's loaded up with blueberries and lemon, like lemon glaze. Oh, that's, that is yummy. Blueberry Lemon Funnel Cake. That's a winner, baby. That is a good one. Next, we have Cream Soda Cupcake. Now, this is probably the cutest one that I have in the, in the littles. Look at that little, cute um, cupcake. So, it says, Caramelized Sugar and Bubbly Vanilla Cream Blend it with Vanilla Cupcakes. I'm making such a mess of my floor. It's not super, super bubbly like you might expect like fizzy pop to be but when you hear cream soda it's not super super bubbly it smells more like a very creamed vanilla with a hint of burnt sugar so it's good it's not a favorite i was expecting more like effervescence nights at the circus smells of crisp red apples cinnamon bark creamy vanilla and honey caramel and this one's pretty plain. It's just brown on the top with some glitter and red on the back. You guys, this is Cider Lane. This is Cider Lane. Yep. I'm so happy. I think I might have to jump on the site. No joke about like five plans. I'm so happy. Nights at the Circus. Cider Lane. And you guys know Cider Lane is like my kryptonite. Big Top Lemonade is the next one. Sugary Tart Yellow Lemonade is layered with bright pink lemonade. So we got all the lemonades. So I'm expecting to have my lips pucker for being so tart. It is very tart. It is very tart lemonade. And I like that. It's a very bright lemonade. Like, as you can see from the colors, too, it's a very bright wax. It's a very bright lemonade color and scent. Very bright lemonade. Oh, I like that, though. Very tart lemonade. So if you guys got this and you like lemon, that's a winner. Next is Dancing Elephants. Blue cotton candy cake pops are topped with raspberry rose sugar glaze. There's, there's rose jam in this, which I, I love rose jam. Rose jam and cotton candy. Yep, it's definitely like rose jam with some super sweet candy. That's lovely. Really like that one. Next is Magician's Bonfire, and this is Bonfire Wisps, Lavender, and Chamomile Sugar Crystals. And this one's super pretty. There's like a black, like... Victorian symbol and the colored wax is really pretty to this purple. This is going to be a good nighttime scent. I'm not getting much bonfire as I am a lavender and chamomile. It's a very calming lavender chamomile blend. Oh, I'm impressed. I like that because I don't typically love chamomile fragrances in wax, but I like that. This one is Starlight Soda Pop. A bubbling citrusy soda pop with vanilla and light woods. And there's like a little mask there. I have this in a sample too, and I don't love it. 
but I feel like this one is going to change a lot when you warm it. The woodsy note is super strange mixed with like fizzy pop. So if you had this one, let me know what you guys think or if you've melted it, what do you think? It definitely smells like fizzy pop, but with like a woodsy note to it. It's kind of throwing me off. So I'll, I'll be curious to try that one. Root beer float again. I have this in the scrub. Strong fizzing root beer top with vanilla ice cream. So good. So good. I would totally order more of this. It's good root beer. Like, you go to a brewery and get root beer that's homemade. That's yummy. Next, we have Cola Float. And this is bubbling cola with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. It definitely smells like a can of, like a, like a bottle of Coke. Because I know there's a debate out there on, like, Coke does taste differently depending on what it's in. This smells like Coke in a glass bottle. Yep. Oh, that's so good. I love it. And I like this because the Coke note isn't super overwhelming on, like, the fizz. That's a really yummy scent. Really impressed by that. Next is Candy Carousel. This sweet and sugary scents of the Midway with rainbow cotton candy, hints of apples, and cakes. It smells like a super sweet frosted cake. Like a... Like a confetti cake. That's exactly what it smells like. Like a confetti cake with super sweet sugary icing. Yep, like a confetti cake with super sweet sugary icing. That's what I'm saying with that one. Next is Purple Lemonade Slushy, and this is Blackberry Juice Blends with Sparkling Lemonade, Sweet Cherry, Vanilla Whipped Cream, and Confectioner Sugar. And this one is like purple with super fun like, um, uh, like a floral in there, a flower in there. Oh my god, my floor. This smells like a blackberry body care. Like something that... I just used in the shower, I, 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 but I, I don't know. It's amazing. This one has like so much stuff, but it's not coming off. I literally did that and I watched something fall <laughs> off. Yeah, it's like a, like a blackberry body care. Yum. Next is twirling trapeze. I know this is a favorite among a lot, and this is blue cotton candy, sparkling strawberry soda pop, and raspberry blueberry cotton candy. This is fun. This is pink, red, and a little light peachy color. This smells like... Alright, this smells like strawberry soda. But artificial strawberry soda. Like, definitely, like, made using, like, a strawberry syrup. But I'm not upset by it. Because I don't hate that at all. I don't hate fake strawberry scent. Yeah. It definitely smells like strawberry soda, like uh, artificial strawberry soda. Next, we have Life is a Circus, isn't it? Sugary white birthday cake frosting layered over blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. So basically, birthday cake... Oh, this one did come cracked. With lots of berries. The berries are mixed together so much that it's almost like undetectable which berry you're smelling. It just smells like a berry compote. Not getting much cake. I'm just getting like a mixture of a lot of berries with some creaminess. That's really yummy. Excited to melt that one. Next we have the Masquerade. And this is smells of bubbly champagne, complex citrus, red berries, apples, and hints of florals. And look how pretty the masquerade mask is on there. This one smells like a very masculine scent. Like a very fresh, masculine body wash. That's nice, though. But not, like, super cologne. Because I don't want you to think it's, like, cologne-y. Just the right amount of masculine mixed with like a clean, so that one will be really nice in the bathroom, I think. 
Eight more left. We have The Fortune Teller, and this is Cola Drenched Funnel Cake topped with Butterscotch Cream Soda. Definitely that same cola note that's in the Cola Float, but you totally get funnel cake. That same yeasty funnel cake note that you get from the other funnel cake scent. Love, and it's so pretty. It's so good. Yep. Vaping Garden just makes me so happy. And I just love how beautiful they are. Next we have Fizzing Lavender Soda. And this is Effervescent Nectar French Lavender Petals and a background note of Plum Blossom and Citrus Fruits. Not as fizzy as I expected, which isn't too bad. I mean, like I said, sometimes I like fizzy pop. Sometimes it can be too much. Definitely not super, super fizzy. I'm not sure. I don't think, Lori Brown, you like lavender that much. I, I don't exactly remember, but if you do, I feel like you might have to amplify this with fizzy pop. Because to me, it just smells like a very light, light lavender. So it's good. I was just expecting more fizz. Because from other vendors I've smelled from that have that scent, it's very fizzy. Next we have Berry Blue Slushy, and this is Blue Raspberry Slushy blends with ripe blackberry, pink raspberry, sugary candy with hints of vanilla and lemon. Hmm. It smells like a Blue Raspberry Slushy. Totally. And I like this flavor of Blue Raspberry. I know it's kind of like artificial tasting, but I, I enjoy it. It is like a candied... Candied raspberry. That's yummy. Not not super complex, which isn't always a bad thing. I ordered two of this because I feel like I just automatically would love it. And this is Pretzel Peanut Butter Twist. I know, right? Sugar Almond Batter blends with salted pretzel dough and peanut butter cookies. Sign me up. This is a very yeasty pretzel, which I love. Just a hint of peanut butter, though. And look how cute. It's like a pink clam with a little pretzel. Yeah, it smells like a... It definitely smells like a peanut butter pretzel. Like those peanut butter pretzels that you get at the store. They're like a little rectangle that's like puffed out and it's filled with pre uh, peanut butter. That's what that smells like. Next we have the Cloud Maze. Candied marshmallow clouds and lavender cotton candy blend with dreamy sweet lullabies. And this one's white. There's these three little clouds on there. It's so cute. Some stars. I like have glitter in my eye. I feel like I'm like covered in glitter now. This smells like lavender marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. Totally. Lavender marshmallow. If you're familiar with that, it smells just like that, which I love lavender marshmallow. Next is Widget's Circus Cocoa. Hot, hot milk chocolate cocoa ganache with dark chocolate chips and brown sugar crystals. I'll be honest, it definitely smells more like a candy bar chocolate rather than a hot chocolate. Hmm. It's yummy though. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's nice. It's definitely not giving me super hot chocolate vibes, but I enjoy that. And then last but not least, we have Whimsical Sweets. Tonka beans, candy apple, and pecan blend with pre-lean marshmallows. And it looks like like little lollipops in a, um, in a Whimsical Candy Land. Mmm, this is nice. This smells like... Almost like, this sounds crazy, like butter pecan ice cream is what I smell. It smells like butter pecan ice cream, like even coldness of butter pecan ice cream. Maybe that's crazy, but that's kind of what I get from this. Like butter pecan ice cream. I like it though. Whew. I'm now covered in glitter. My floor is covered in glitter, but I'm a very happy boy because I love the bathing garden and... I can't wait to melt this in a year, which I know sounds crazy, and disclaimer, you do not need to wait a year, but I have plenty of wax, 
and I just think it's fun to like anticipate and open a new package. And then by the time the hype is getting there, it's like, oh my gosh, the circus collection's coming back out. I could pull out my box, pick out some scents, melt them in my apartment, and see what I think, and fall in love and play some more. So let me know what you guys got out of the Magnum Garden circus collection. Did you pick up anything that's a staple that you must have that I did not try? I might place another order. Leave your comments down below. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell. That way, every time I upload here on YouTube, you're alerted. And as always, be kind, make it a better world, and you matter. Love you guys.